wow, Michael, what could they possibly be making on a machine like this? Hey, Ron. Hey, audience. Keep watching it and find it out. Here at Tissen, they're making the bearings for wind turbines. And these are very specialist parts that are being finished here on the Boss machine. And when you're doing this hard turning, is vibration an issue? Of course, Rowan. Vibration is always an issue, especially when you finish the part, yeah? This is the last process before the part is finished. So we have here on our WTF 65 5500, a very robust structure, yeah? That is probably one of the most robust stru machine structure that Bose ever have built, okay? And every axis that we have right now here, and you can see that also here is hydrostatic. That means X and Z axis hydrostatic, but also the Z axis is hydrostatic. Absolutely. Yeah? There's two points there. We're looking at the RAM right now. Yeah. There's two of these RAMs, the turning exactly. RAMs. Exactly. And how big are they? They're a big, big chunk of metal, aren't they, Michael? Exactly. They are 500 by 500 round, yeah? And let me mention one thing more again to the hydrostatic. We have sensors all around the machine. That means by this dimension, it's very critical temperature influence. So we control the whole machine with the sensors and we cool and we heat it up the hydrostatic oil if we need, so that the customer at the end are sure he can turn these parts in microns, okay? Yeah, absolutely, and if you imagine, if the viewers at home imagine uh, machining a part of this, if you're doing a lot of drilling here and tapping and boring, maybe this part of the ring heats up a little bit and will expand, but if you imagine all the way back over there, that, that, that ring over there, that might, the part of the ring might be a little bit cooler, might be a bit smaller. So if you do a bit of drilling and milling here, heat up this bit, and then start to turn the whole, the whole component, in theory, maybe this bit will be a little bit smaller diameter than this bit, just simply because of the heat difference. And over such a large distance, this is a 6.5 um, uh, meter maximum part diameter. Exactly. You need to make sure you control that temperature, otherwise your parts aren't going to be correct. Exactly, Ron. Yeah. And it's important for these, these parts to be correct. Why? I mean, what, what, what kind of products do they go in? Oh, these, going to the, these are bearings for the wind turbines. Yeah. And remember, wind turbines um, are built for 10, 15 years without maintenance. That means we need to have very the best bearing uh, that we can produce yeah, for our customers. And Absolutely. the customer needs really the, the best precise bearings. Absolutely. And so we've talked about uh, the way that the machine handles vibration, temperature control, but what about the work holding here? Because I can't see any clamps. I mean, there's like a single cylinder just down here that looks like it's kind of locating the part, but where is the clamps? How do you do the work holding? Hey, be very careful. We stand here on a magnetic table, yeah? That means this is a finishing process, so clamping, if you use clamping properly, you will damage the, the finished part. For that reason, the whole table is magnetic. Right. And we have different level of the magnetic power, yeah? But this is from the customer, some special things. As I told you, the whole machine is customized for the customers. Not only the machine process, it's uh, the cutting process, it's also the how we got the non-productive non time, that means cleaning the machine, the chips falls very nice down. You will see that later how the, the platforms get open so that the operator has to reduce his non-productive time as much as possible. Absolutely, and this being a, a custom machine, um, here at Tissen, they're very interested in operator safety, aren't they? How have they chosen the specification of the machine to help with operator safety and also operator ergonomics, making it an easier life for the operator? Oh, that was very, a very important thing for our customer, Tissen in that case, that the machine is very easy to not only maintain, also the production guys. Yeah, you see, we have two operator panels, one on the left side, one on the right side. Yeah, and you see that every RAM has two cameras. Yeah, and as I told you, we have sold two machines right now in this facility. The operator can watch on every panel also what is doing the other machine. What I find amazing is the, the amount of options investment that Tissen have put into these two machines but it's not just these two machines in the bearing, big bearing facility here. Uh, uh, in uh, We're in Lipstadt. Yeah. They've actually invested in two brand new machines in India as well. Uh, exactly. They have probably buy the same machine for India, just a little bit smaller, around one meter smaller from the diameter. Yeah. But also this machine, you see we're just turning right now here. This machine is prepared for mill and drill. That means in the future when the customer needs, he can go and change the head and put a drill or milling head 
and then we can mill and drill on this machine. Yeah. Well, I love it. Let's walk over to the RAM. So you see the RAM has now got some static tooling on it because this is primarily a vertical turning machine, but this black part of the head, we've seen it. Um, We've seen a, another customer where this this black part of the head can actually be released, and inside this RAM is not just a, it's not just solid steel. Exactly. There is actually, like you say, a live spindle sensor inside exactly. here, so you can do kind of vertical drilling, you can do angle drilling. But what I love the most is, let's imagine you're making an investment in a machine like this, and right now you're just doing hard turn. That's all you're interested in, but next year you might want to change so if you make such a big investment you want to know that you can future proof your machine exactly but how are they future proofing the machine what other options are there it's not just drilling right now as you, as we mentioned yeah we can take off this uh, turning head and put a milling head 90 degrees 180 degrees whatever the customer will need we customize the machine and later we can customize also this option, yeah? Up to 63 kilowatts. Which is amazing. So you, I guess you can turn hard and you can mill hard with 63 kilowatt spindle. And let's, have a, let's just try and sum up what Tissen have allowed themselves to do with this machine. We've got hydrostatic axes, we've got a robust structure and a myriad of options to make your operator's lives easier and keep the machine flexible for the future. If people are interested, how do they get in touch? Very easy. Just visit our website, bost.es. And remember, if you want to buy the best, buy Bost.